former Boston Celtics basketball player Rajan Rondo, who currently plays for the NBA Sacramento Kings, has been suspended by the NBA for one game after a confrontation with referee Bill Kennedy, during which Rajan Rondo screamed, you're a mother effing faggot, you're a effing faggot. Kennedy tossed Rajan Rondo out of the game, and after the incident, referee Bill Kennedy actually stated, I am a gay man. And now this has opened up a huge conversation about number one, whether this was Rajan Rondo calling someone the F word as a sort of generic insult, which exists, or he was specifically targeting Bill Kennedy because he knew or thought that Bill Kennedy was a gay man. And the question immediately became whether the suspension was fair and whether the suspension should have been worse if indeed Rajan Rondo was specifically targeting Bill Kennedy with that slur because he knew him to be a gay man. And there are all sorts of stories floating around about how uh, former Celtics coach Doc Rivers had commented in the past about Bill Kennedy's sexual orientation and that as a former Celtic, Rajan Rondo would know about that, although Doc Rivers has denied that. Let's get right to it, Lewis. First of all, should it matter when considering the punishment for Rondo whether he used the term fag as a generic insult or he was specifically attacking Bill Kennedy for being a gay man? Uh, I think in this case it probably shouldn't matter. Uh, we know that that's a word that an insult that is commonly thrown around in, in the NBA and the NFL. And I think the goal should be to try and make sure that people aren't using that word anymore. Uh, and so. I think it's going to be very hard to determine if Rondo, in which way Rondo used it. But uh, I, I think the punishment should probably just be the same across the board for using that uh, on, on the court in such a way. In 2011, when Kobe Bryant used the same word on the court, he was fined $100,000, no suspension. When uh, uh, Joaquin, how, how do you say, is it Joaquin, Joaquin? I don't know how he says his name. Joe, Joe Kim, I believe. Joe Kim. Yeah. When Joe Kim Noah, or Joe Kim, all one word. He was fined $50,000 after he yelled faggot at a fan who reportedly had insulted his mother. Roy Hibbert paid $75,000 for a no homo joke during a post game press conference, which was incredibly ill timed and inappropriate. Uh, I don't know. Um, you know. I don't think it's any surprise that Rajan Rondo may not be the easiest guy and even tempered guy when he was on the Celtics. I remember he always had a bad attitude with the press, he always just generally seemed to have a pretty bad attitude. So I'm by no means shocked about this. The question of the punishment is a fair one, and I'd be curious what the audience thinks. With There's always inconsistency. I mean, look at the punishment Michael Vick got for being involved in an extensive dogfighting ring compared to the four-game suspension they attempted to give Tom Brady for having peripheral knowledge of a ball deflation, right? I mean, it, there's always these inconsistencies. Uh, yeah, uh, well, like, uh, like with everything in our justice system, I mean, not just uh, sports, you know, punishments, but uh, everything, Dave. I mean, someone with some uh, a pound of weed, maybe even a lot less than that, will get more jail time than a violent rapist. It's yeah. crazy. And Rondo issued one of these uh, kind of so-called apologies saying, my actions during the game were out of frustration and emotion, period. They absolutely do not reflect my feelings toward the LGBT community. I did not mean to offend or disrespect anyone. I love the apologies. I just love those clearly crafted and fake apologies. Uh, and we got one from Rajan Rondo. Send me your thoughts about this. Is the punishment fair? Should it matter if he knew the referee was gay when he called him a mother effing faggot on the court?